which also were integrated in those media reports, though some of them may have been views expressed through a letter to the editor, but they are carried in the media. Reflective of what? Reflective of complete cities, of people who are in the hand of affairs of governance. Therefore, they have to come clean. But the most painful thing is that these money which are with this basin development are meant to ensure sustainable livelihood for our people. Every household across the state. You have seen number of programs which have been embarked upon by the then government through this and which was uh, channelized through this IBDLP, Basin Development Program. We have livelihood access program, access to market program, Meghalaya, Meghalaya livelihood access to market project. That means livelihood is connected with market. Livelihood is connected with various activities, trading, etc. Et and therefore, everything, like you are talking about MITP, you have to ask the government, what is MITP? Meghalaya Integrated Transport Program. Under this program, you are seeing the government embarking upon construction of roads. Why? Because integrated transport, that means it is beyond constructing roads, including livelihood, creating access to market. You know? So, what happened to those initiatives? Why have the government not utilized this fund? As I have always tried to draw the attention of the government and say that please look at the low hanging fruits. There are low hanging fruits. There are already funds available, which has been initiated by our government to get access to number of funds from World Bank, Asian Development Bank, Japan International Cooperation Agency. So, innumerable initiatives, when you integrate them, funnel them in a manner it is designed, you will see ample opportunities created for livelihood on a sustainable basis. That is what I am talking about. What have they done in the five years? Why are they not uh, implementing those uh, programs as designed? Why are they actually engaging in nepotism and favoritism and depriving people who are supposed to be covered under the program? You have heard the former MLA of Kharkuta talking about this nepotism as they try to implement these uh, so-called Focus and Focus Plus. Please remember that this program is to cover everybody. We have initiated this program. We are the authors of this program. As I have said, in order to ensure that the people do not slip back to their poverty level after having been lifted from their poverty, you must ensure that there are minimum three sustainable livelihood for every household. That has been what was designed by the then government. And that is what is supposed to be implemented at the moment with all the funds which is now available with the government. So given the support that you're actually drawing from, you know, the places, uh, this place itself, so is it is it uh, is it likely that we see you uh, coming into the political scenario in uh, Tikrikala? See, we are trying to talk to everybody. We are trying to carry everybody as members of one family, the members of Trinamul Congress Paribar. And while once we are in the family, then we decide amongst the brothers, you know, amongst the parents, amongst the brothers, you know, like uh, two of us, two brothers. The moment we are two brothers, then we decide together. You know, <laughs> that's how we look at. It. Okay, sir. Thank I you. think it will be done. Uh, today is okay.